<laughs> Have you ever wanted to just reach over and grab something? Like maybe this camera that's right in front of me. Hi guys. <laughs> now you can. It's the Grab It. One of many great items we have coming up for you right here on As Seen on TV. My name's Sarah. I'll take you shopping. And maybe you've seen some of those infomercials where you've seen a really great product and you're like, oh, that looks awesome. But is, is it really as good as they say? Well, we're going to put all these great products to the test and we're going to give you some of the best deals in the country. And we're going to kick off our hour together with the set of two grabbers. This is called the Grab It. It's the pack of reaching grabber tools. So if you can't reach it, or if you need an extra hand, if you have trouble bending over, or maybe you just can't reach that top shelf or picking up little tiny objects off the floor, maybe you just want to change a light bulb. We've got the perfect solution for you because we are giving you an HSN exclusive, which is a set of two. All you do is pick your color. We have red, we have teal, we have purple. They all work the same, and each one is going to give you an extra set of arms. Very lightweight, so whether you're reaching under the bed or behind the kitchen counter, or maybe it's that spot right between the washer and the dryer, that's where all those extra missing socks go. Well, now you can grab them and get them back. I'm not the only one who knows a little bit about this tool because Vonnebel Sherman is in the house. Uh, nice. This is such a great idea. I, I wish I had one of these uh, many, many years ago because I had a home that had a lot of those little hidden places yeah, that you can't get into yeah. or you put things up on the high shelf. Well, this is a great reaching tool. And so it gives you three feet of reach. How many times you said, I wish I was a little bit taller. I could get that if I was a little taller. This is your taller. So you can use it for three feet out, three feet down, three feet across, whatever you want to reach, you can do it with the grabber. But we did it better because I know there's some grabbing tools out there. But on this one, you get that LED light that you're looking at. That's included and so is the battery. And then also there's a magnet on the end. Can I show you how that works? So it's a reaching tool that has other features. It's just so smartly designed. And look, I can pick up metal objects in my carpet. If you drop something and you can't bend over to get it and it's metal. Well, I picked up a piece of jewelry. I picked up a bobby pin. I can pick up this nail clipper. So all those little things that maybe even fall between the washer and the dryer or down the couch. You can see that magnet, it's so tiny, but wasn't it mighty? It's mighty. And then you have a little hook in case you need to dra drag something thing back as well. I want to show you the precision on this before we go over to a cabinet and show you how many things I can lift. Look at the precision on this. You see that thimble? I am grabbing a teeny tiny thimble so I can hold something that tiny, but yet the grab it can hold this sugar canister as well. So you can see the variety of things. And so many times we keep things, I'm going to move over here to the cabinet. Sure. We keep things on a high shelf because we don't use them as often, but when you want it, the choice is to get a, a stool that makes you feel unsteady, that you don't want to fall, you don't want to risk hurting yourself. When you have a grab it tool, like the grab it, then you can use it to grab all those things. Now, we also have a ratcheting feature, which I'm going to show you, so I can grab things. Oh, let's grab this first. So say I want to take this and I want to move it up. I take something in the back that I can't reach and I can move it down. Now this grabbing fee, uh, also closes in half. The grab it closes in half. Great for easy storage or to keep next to you in your mobility cart or your wheelchair. But then I'm gonna show you here. So here's another great feature. I, I call it like a triple threat because we have features here, features here, features here. Right here on the handle is your ratcheting feature. So we can move that by pressing the button and going up and then listen. Did you hear that? So it's a ratchet. Ratchet means it holds something for you. So let me show you what that means. Let's say you're having some mobility issues. You're a little bit weak in your arms or your wrist. You're having trouble. You maybe grab it, but you can't hold on to it. You're a little bit older. You just had surgery. Now watch what happens. I'm gonna take my hand away. See? The grab it <laughs> is holding it for me. So that's the ratcheting feature. And now stay there. Woo! Did you think that was gonna go? No, because the grab it really does hold things well, especially in the ratcheting feature. And then it has rubber fingers, so it holds things securely for you. And then when you wanna put it down, mm -hmm. all you have to do to release for the ratcheting is push that button again, and it releases that handle, and then you can go for your next item, whether it's up or down, or um, how about your home, you just had surgery. Everybody loves you and they set you up for the day, but then you're in the wheelchair or your doctor told you don't bend, don't reach, but oh, there's some things you wanna do. When you have the grab it, 
you can do some of those things, like you're looking at that plant that needs water. That's a simple thing. You could do it maybe, and mm -hmm. it's, but it's too high for you. Use the grab it to grab that plant. Maybe it's in the eave of your house. You know, some people hang them off on their porch. Water it. And then let the grab it, put Look it back that. in its place. You get an extra three feet of reach. Now I have some updates because mm -hmm. we're super busy on the phones, Monabelle. Okay. All you do is choose your color and you're getting a set of two. So one can be upstairs, one downstairs, one by your favorite armchair, one in the broom closet, uh, one near the bed, if that's where the kids' toys or the dog's uh, tennis balls go. All you do is choose your color. We have purple, we have teal, and we have red. These are very limited. It's gonna be our only presentation of the day. We have fewer than about a thousand of these to go around. And teal, we're already down to our final 150. So only about 150 in that teal set. Uh, doesn't matter really what color they are. They all work the same, but if you have a favorite, uh, do shop for those. And the best part is, only here at HSN are we giving you a set of two. Everywhere else, you will see this price for one. We are gonna give you two for this price, which makes it super affordable. And we're celebrating with four flex pays all weekend long. So enjoy our big Labor Day weekend sale. Enjoy four more flex pay on everything. And that's on everything in this show and everything that we have on air and online. So if this is something that you struggle with or you're looking for great solutions, uh -huh. uh, this is a great place to start because uh, I can think of a thousand ways to use these. I know, I have found having it around my house, I keep one in the garage for picking up things and inside and then I even pulled some bug, I guess chrysalises almost, like I know butterflies have the chrysalis, but some bugs made their little nest, and I reached up and grabbed it. Now here's the nice thing, you mentioned the set of two and how great value, well, you know what, if you've seen this on the infomercial, the standard one ends right about here. You're getting this extra length because it's deluxe here at HSN, you're getting the full three feet of, of uh, reach. Now I wanna show you how you could reach down as well, because if you have back problems, if you mm -hmm. pulled a muscle, if you can get down but then you can't get up, this is key to have the grab it. So I can reach down for all of those things so that I can bring it to a comfortable level for myself. So then I can use it. I don't have to stay frustrated because I can't bend. And there's times that, I mean I do it about three times a year, I pull a muscle for no reason. It's like so yeah. frustrating. <laughs> and then you can't reach and you're in pain. Have the grab it, do all that reaching. I wanna come over here and show you, you how the light works. So the LED light is included and so is the battery, which is really nice. But Sarah, watch this. So you can go in tight spaces. I'm gonna turn on the light. So let's say this is between the you know washer, or dryer, a tight corner. Um, okay. I can reach in there because see that narrow uh, mm -hmm. path? And right. I can pull out that sock or whatever's stuck in between that I don't want to put my hand Ooh. in because maybe it's dark and it has some spiders. So talk about dark, look at this. So watch as I go in this dark space. And you know, sometimes there's something that fell and you want it, could even be an earring, it'll pick up the metal. And then I don't have to worry about what I'm going in there and grabbing in case it's a spider and a spider web visiting because I don't want to greet them. I'll let my grab it greet them. <laughs> and with yeah, the there are many Many places yeah. of our home we actually can't see and even if you could reach it do you want to put your hand under the bed and then feel around in the dark hoping that you find that sock or that mm -hmm. dog toy uh probably not i would let the grab it do it for you uh, i do want you to know this probably won't even last the clock uh, so we're going to give you a quick update final call on teal otherwise you can choose red or purple you are getting a set of two for this great low price today today only only presentation it will sell out call quickly or go to our website at hsn.com and this is great for picking up stuff around the yard uh, mm -hmm. think about it if you have to pick up trash you know that blows out of your garbage can if you have to pick up something you don't know where it's been you don't know who stepped in it you don't know Good who point. touched it <laughs> yeah you don't want to touch things you don't have to touch this is you know i discovered this see it make it a little l you can do that with your grab it so now it's bending so I don't have to bend. And if you have pets or little ones who put things, you know, hide things, your kitty cat and your dogs and the kids hide things under the chair and you can't bend, look, I just grabbed that totally without bending. Mm -hmm. Now, it do this does bend and I really like that because if you own maybe one of our mobility carts that we have or a wheelchair, you can keep it right next to you. And so when you're going around and if you drop something, you see something that needs to be yeah. picked up, you simply take it out. Or even if you could take this with you at the grocery store and whether you're using your own cart or the store's cart, you don't have to wait for somebody to come and help you because you could reach something off the shelf. And so let's say you are home, you just had that surgery, the doctor said, don't touch anything <laughs> and don't bend. Maybe it was hip, leg, 
you have your grab it. Say I dropped my remote and I'm not supposed to bend. I can let the grab it grab for me. I drop my glasses. I can let the grab it grab those and bring them to me. And now if you um, have pets, you know they leave things for you all over the place. And kids, stuffed animals, you pick up things all day long. So that's a whole lot of up and down, up and down. Now that could be good exercise except if you don't feel well or you don't have the ability right. to get back up. Mm -hmm. Because really, I know, it's not, it's going down, not so bad. Getting back up mm -hmm. is difficult. Okay, so, Annabelle, I'm gonna have to cut you off because it's oh, selling out. Okay. I'm so sorry, sweetie. You're doing such a good job. Everybody <laughs> in America wants one. Uh, and you're not just getting one, you're getting a set of two. The Grabbits yeah. will tell you when it sells out. Uh, use these around the house, indoors, outdoors, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, grab those before you go. Now, thank you so much, Annabelle. I want to give you a little heads up on the micro mechanic. This is such a cool, cool idea, and it is brand new today. If you have ever seen the dreaded check engine light pop up on your car when you start your car, this is going to not only diagnose your problem, it's gonna wirelessly transmit that information to, via Bluetooth to your cell phone, and not only is it gonna tell you what's wrong with your car, it's going to tell you an estimate of what the repair would cost, and it's gonna tell you whether or not it's safe or not to drive. So you don't have to count on the garage, and you can prevent those costly repairs. That's the micro mechanic. That's coming up in our show today. And uh, for those of you that have been loving our jewelry here at HSN, probably one of the most famous and most talked about brands in HSN history is Technobond. I'm wearing a few pieces today. I've got this gorgeous snake chain necklace on, a bracelet, a ring. And if you've been loving Technobond and you want to see what's new, well, it's going to be back. It's going to be bigger and better than ever. We've got a full show at September 12th at 6 p.m. and on September 13th at 3 p.m. All new hours of gorgeous Technobond jewelry. And I know if you just can't wait, uh, you can start shopping early on our website. Just type in Technobond in the search window at hsn.com and you can get a jump start and you'll be the first in line. More like the Micro Mechanic coming up next. Hey, have you heard about the buzz on hsn.com? It's the one place you can find everything from current fashion trends, delicious recipes, how-tos, and so much more. Dive into must-read articles about your favorite topics and get inspired with stunning photos. Search the buzz on hsn.com right now. It's HSN's Labor Day Sale. This weekend only, save up to $40 when you open and use an HSN card. Plus, get four or more flex pay on everything. And free shipping on all electronics. Don't miss our clearance frenzy. Up to 60% off with free shipping on any clearance purchase of $75 or more. Plus, great deals all weekend long on your favorite brands like Diane Gilman, Corez, and iRobot. HSN's Labor Day Sale, now through Monday. a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, any place. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. <laughs> I think there's a fly in here. Where did it go? Ah, <laughs> I got it. Uh, also, you guys got this too. It's the Grab It Ultra. That just sold out. Congratulations. Uh, it is now entirely sold out. Uh, if this looks familiar and you are swatting at flies and other flying insects around the house, I have a much better idea. And it's much cleaner, much safer, and you can bring it indoors. It is the brand new Monster Zapper. So no more fly swatters, no more chemical sprays or sticky tapes or traps. All you do is plug it in and give those pesky indoor insects a 
zap. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, and here is our bug expert, our very own <laughs> bug zapper, our one and only Lou Caputo, our exterminator of the hour. I'm the bug guy now. You are the bug guy. <laughs> do you get like a, a, a badge or something? I want something. something. Yeah, do you I feel want, like I need something. Do you want like one of those like cool onesies yeah. that the exterminators I'd, wear? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's what you I need. want that and a helmet. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get that for you. <laughs> All that. But first, tell us about the Let's brand talk new about Monsters this. Okay, so this is a very <laughs> Very interesting device because you know we have it just knocked down when it comes to getting rid of all the other pests in your home we can handle the rats the mice the ants the roaches the spiders we got them covered but what about the things that fly until now you've been kind of doing it manually you've been going after them with like the electrified swatters the manual swatters I mean all these different things right well what this does is it actually attracts the mosquitoes the gnats the flies, the moths, all of these things right into inside us, including the wasps, all right? And it brings them in and it zaps them. It's very simple, okay? And what's neat about this is all you do is plug it in. There's no assembly required. It comes fully assembled and you turn it on and just set this someplace in your house. Now what happens is these ultraviolet lights, there's two um, 20 watt ultraviolet lights in here, okay? And the insects literally like moths to a flame, they are attracted to these mm -hmm. lights. So what happens is they try to get to the lights and inside here, now you can't touch it. So there's no danger of any sort of shock for you or your kids or your pets, but there is a grate that goes across in here and it has 2,800 volts going through it. Okay, so as soon as the insect touches that grate, they get zapped. Wow. And it's pretty dramatic when it happens. <laughs> it, it really is. Now, what happens to the carcass of the insect? Well, there's a little catch tray down here at the bottom. It falls down in here and they collect there. And then every once in a while, you kind of take a look at it and you see if it's getting full. You take that and you kind of go and dump it out. Very simple, you can, and this part you can actually clean out if you need to. Uh, we give you a chain with this. So you can actually hang this if you want to someplace in your house. I mean, I think that this is a great idea. Now, quick funny story. So last week in my office, we noticed this really horrible odor, okay? Uh -oh. And we called the uh, management company for the complex and we're like, hey, listen, we got this bad odor guy came over. He said it was because our dumpster was so close to our air conditioner. I'm gonna go with no, because a few days later, the smell was gone, but guess what appeared? Flies. Lots and lots oh, and lots of flies. No. Like, how would I get rid of, I'm talking like yeah. 20, 30, I mean, just all over, right? So we had two of these in the office and it was a field day. And you would hear people down the hall every time they would zap something, got one. You'd hear people yelling down the hallway. <laughs> and it was great. cheer and clap. Yes, and it took care of the problem. But I mean, if you're a homeowner yeah. and you've got this, and especially like we're getting to the time of year now, we're gonna start closing up the house and we're gonna trap all this stuff inside. You know, mm -hmm. so how are we gonna get rid of them? Well, we've got options and we've talked about a little bit about these, I was kind of kidding around about this, but we got our bug sprays, right? And if you go out there and use the sprays, all you're doing is walking around and just spraying this in the air. Right. Now, who else breathes the air in your house? Hmm, everybody? So you, that's really not a great solution. Yeah. Uh, we've got these guys here. Do you remember these? Have you ever seen these from the restaurants? Oh, the yes. The big, the big, uh, ew. This is yeah. like this nasty sticky strip right here and the flies get stuck to that. <laughs> um, and it's disgusting because it's just hanging flies just kind of moving in the breeze. So that's kind of gross. It doesn't do anything to get rid of the that's carcass. And then we really talked gross. about these, and maybe you're quicker than I am, you know, but if you're trying to actually get a fly, they're pretty darn fast. Wouldn't you rather just have something that's going to attract the flies to it and yes. then zap and then them? You're not chasing them. You're not chasing. If it's you versus the fly, the right. fly's probably going to win that one. Every time. Uh, hands down. Every time. Uh, plus, if you have one of these lying around the house, you know that everyone grabs it, everyone right. touches it, the kids, the pets, and oh, the, yeah. then, of course, you're putting all that. Gross. on your kitchen counter and on your exactly. windows and on your doors and everything else that it's going to touch. So yeah. this is something that is designed for indoor use, yeah. which is so great. It's I mean, made we've to seen be the outdoor bug zappers, so. Well, and those were much bigger. I mean, if you th if you remember, the outside ones are much thicker, they're much larger and just way more industrial looking, okay? So this is just, you know, Bell & Howell took this and they kind of made it a little bit smaller in every dimension. And just something that you can put there. We've got one sitting on the floor by a door and then we've got another one that's up on a table kind of out of the way. And and you know, it, it really does work. And you can, and the reason you know it works is because you can hear it. You can hear the, the bugs when they go in there. And I mean, think about this too, the sprays and the, and the fly swatters and everything I showed you, they're great for flies, okay? Well, not great, but they, they work on flies, okay? This is gonna take care of the mosquitoes. 
This is gonna take care of the gnats. This is gonna take care of the noceums. All those little tiny bugs, the moths that are eating your clothes, the wasps that wanna sting you. What about those like little fruit flies that come in? They're flies. With your groceries? Sure. And they're already in the fruit, right? Yes. And you don't even know about them That's not like your fault. a day yeah. or two later, right. right? Right, you're right. And this would attract them as well. It's a funny thing, I so I, I kind of read up on why the UV light attracts them. And believe it or not, patterns on plants that these, animal, that these insects are attracted to are only visible under UV. UV light. Oh. Isn't that weird? That is Yeah, it's strange, wild. but that's why that's why they're attracted to the UV light. So that brings them in. But remember, once they get in there, they can hang around the lights all they want, but the minute they come into contact with that 2800 volt uh, grate that's in the front of this, they're it's you know, good night nurse. They're gone. <laughs> they're out of there. Well, you told a great story and I have one for you. Oh, tell me. Uh, but first, I just want to remind everybody this is brand new. Yep. Uh, we are going to have a very busy hour. A lot of you are hopefully celebrating the holiday weekend a little early with your family and friends. It's a great day to do a little shopping. Get the Monster Zapper because this is the time of year that we're not the only ones trying to come indoors and right. hang out. Uh, the bugs are trying to get indoors as well. So a couple summers ago, my family opened up their summer cottage on Lake mm -hmm. and they hadn't been in it for months. Months, and after a few days, there were not hundreds of flies. There were probably thousands of really? black flies. Huge, giant flies. And they could not figure out where they were coming from. They had closed all the windows. They mm -hmm. had closed all the doors. And no matter how many they killed, more appeared mm -hmm. mysteriously. It took them almost a week to figure out the source of the flies. Can you guess? What? It was a dead squirrel Boom. that had fallen down the chimney, mm -hmm. had died. It was probably decomposing for weeks right. before all the flies suddenly appeared and they kept coming out of the chimney. Yeah. We could have used something like this because it didn't matter what we did, we could not get rid of all those flies. And see, that's exactly what happened in our office. And I'm pretty sure something yes, died in the ceiling or the died, walls. And then, yes. And then they what, what do they do? They lay their eggs and, and you have no idea where all it's the flies. From. Yeah, and they were everywhere. And this was a godsend. It actually, you know, did a great job for us. Now, the other thing too is though, you know, if you live someplace where you're fortunate enough that in the summertime or springtime, you can actually open the windows. Here in Florida, what we do is we close the windows and turn on the air conditioning. But if you live anywhere <laughs> else, you open the windows and you know, even if you've got great screens, somehow they still get in. Every time you go walk the dog, every time somebody goes outside, you know, you open the garage door, these little pests are going to come in and you're going to get the mosquitoes and the noceums and the gnats and the wasps and the, the flies. And there's so many varieties of flies. Right. I mean, there's black flies, yellow flies, you know, deer flies. I mean, they're just, there's so many of them. And this is going to get them all. They're all attracted to this. And the nice thing about this is that unless it actually zaps something, it's completely quiet. So you don't even know that it's there. Like you'll forget that this is on, mm -hmm. that it's just sitting there. And then all of a sudden you hear that, you know. And as long as it's plugged in, it's working. Yeah. And well, you, do you ever have to you. like change a battery or no, change a nothing. light bulb? Just or? plug it in. Now there is an on off switch. So I just turned it off right there and that's on the side. And now you can see that goes back on. And all it's doing is it's turning on the two attractants, which are the 20 watt UV ultraviolet light bulbs that are in here. And then it has that 2800 volt uh, grate in the front of it. But as I mentioned earlier, I can sit here all day and grab this and touch this mm -hmm. and do all kinds of things to it. But I can't get in there to touch yeah. that because it's double sealed. And it's so there's no way. Lightweight. Yeah. Only weighs a about four pounds. Right. Let me give the dimensions. You're trying to figure out uh, where do I put this? Look first of how narrow it is. Yeah. It's only about uh, three inches wide at its widest point. It's going to be about 15 inches long. It's about 10 inches high. And remember, it's going to be the easiest thing ever so to simple. remove the dead bugs and right. carcasses because you're not chasing them down. Because as soon as you kill something, you're like, oh, now I got to go clean it up. And here's the now tray. Now I smash that wasp against <laughs> right. a beautifully painted wall right. or my kitchen counter that was cleaned a few minutes ago. And here's the tray that fits in the bottom right there. You saw me take that out just a second ago. And you just dump this out, rinse it out, whatever, however you want to mm -hmm. clean it. And then it just slides. There's a little groove right here. And it just slides right back in. Very, very simple. Ready for the next batch to come on. All I mean, right. it's very easy to do. Uh, and if you have bees or wasp nests near your home, yeah. uh, notice how they're always like under the eaves or they're always like right outside your door in bricks or in the roof. If they're getting inside, uh, you can run away and just put, you can put on the bug zapper and leave yeah. the house. <laughs> and yeah. It's like, please get that little wasp or that bee or the mosquitoes at night. And it's so you much better than this. You never notice the mosquitoes during the day. No, but it's when you're trying to night, sleep. When you're trying to sleep and you have that frustrating little, right. zzz, you're like, Ugh. And these are worthless for those. This stuff, this stuff doesn't work. This does. All right, do the right thing. Get the Monster Zapper. Uh, 
brought to you from our very own bug guy. No more sticky tape. No more sticky I'm tape. I'm going to miss that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We have an HSN prize for flex pay on everything this weekend. So you can really get those home items that are really going to be useful. You're going to have a lot of fun giving this a brand new item. Now, yep. Luca Pudo, don't go anywhere. Okay. We've got another brand new item coming up. But first, uh, we have a phenomenal value. Okay. This is awesome. You could save up to $40 on a single item purchase when you open and use an HSN credit card. Imagine that $40 off your purchase and all you do has to all you have to do is instantly apply and get approved and make your first purchase. We'll take $40 off. That's a lot of money. And um, we're doing that uh, just for Labor Day weekend. So get your wish list out, check out what's in your shopping cart and enjoy that $40 coupon. All right, let's get back to another brand new item as seen on TV and now as seen on HSN because this is the premiere, brand new. It's our only presentation of the fabulous micro mechanic. If you have ever gotten your car, had a big trip plan and you see that check engine light come on, the dreaded check engine light. Do we have any idea what that means? All it means is that now you're worried. Can I get there? What's wrong with my car? Well, now for the first time ever, you are going to have your very own micro mechanic for less than $20. Not only will it tell you what's wrong with your car, it will tell you whether or not your car is safe to drive and what the estimate might be for repairs. It's going to diagnose those problems in your car. So now you don't have to go to the garage or maybe avoid some of those costly repairs. We've got a much better solution. Luke Caputo, you're not the bug guy anymore. You're the car guy. I'm the car guy you're now. You're the car guy now. So I know you can tell us about this. It's brand new. <laughs> and honestly, for less than $20, yeah. I think everyone who drives a car oh. should have something like this. Without question. And you know what's nice about this is this is designed for both the person who knows a little something about cars and the people who know absolutely nothing about their vehicles whatsoever, okay? The micro mechanic is a little device. It's what they call an OBD reader, okay? This plugs in to the onboard data port on your car. Now, what is that? Well, it's underneath the dashboard on the driver's side, okay? And it's where the mechanics plug in their computer so they can take a reading and see and talk to the computer in the car. So you just pull this out. And you can see it's got these little prongs on the end right there and you just plug it right in. It does it very, very simply. Now there's a free app that's both for Android and Apple products, okay? You can download the app for free. Did I mention that? Free. You can download the app to your phone. As soon as you have this plugged in and the app open on your phone, it, they're going to search for each other. Once it finds it, you hit a button that says start scan and it will scan your engine for codes. Now, it might tell you nothing's wrong. It might tell you something's wrong, but it's still safe to drive. Or it might tell you something's wrong don't drive your car. And even better than that, it tells you how much it's worth let me, or how much it should cost. Let me show you how this works, okay? So we've got one plugged in here into what we've kind of simulated as the uh, onboard data port in a car, all right? So there it is sitting right there and I've already got my micro mechanic plugged into it, okay? I have a tablet over here and it's an Android tablet and it's actually running the same app that you would run on your phones. Now, the two things are already paired up by Bluetooth. They're already talking. I'm gonna hit the button right here that says start scan. You can see right there, it's actually scanning the port right now, looking to see if anything is wrong. Now, we've got two problems right here. So it's telling me I've got a mass or volume airflow circuit range performance problem. Do you know what that is, Sarah? Oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I have no idea what that Nobody means. knows what it means. But here's what's important. <laughs> Up here in the corner, you can see in yellow type, it says safe to drive. So what it's telling you is <gasps> you need to get it checked, but it's safe to drive. Now, here's the other thing. Watch this. I can tap on that and now it opens up a window that tells me even more about this and it tells me what the price range should be to get it fixed, 70 to $350. So now I can go to the mechanic and I'll know if he's gonna tell me, well, that's gonna be $750, I kinda know that might be a little bit out of the range for that. Now, the next thing on here, it says I have a master volume airflow circuit low input. And again, it's safe to drive. If I tap on that, it's also $70 to $350, okay? So I know I can drive my vehicle. Now, the one thing I hate is driving with the check engine light on. It drives me crazy. Oh yeah. You don't have to do that because right here it says reset engine light. So I can press that button right there. It's gonna clear the codes 
until the next time I drive. Ah. So now I can drive the car and I don't have to worry about the fact that that little engine light's gonna be bothering me the whole time. So those two codes are things you need to take care of, but guess what? They're not gonna be dangerous for you, but I also know now what the price range is gonna be. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great gift for anybody out there who, you know, is one of those folks that doesn't know a lot about cars. Maybe it's a young person who's just starting to drive. Um, you can leave this plugged into that port all the time, have the app on your phone, open it anytime you want. Now, the other thing it does, which I think is great, is it also tells you about the service intervals for your car. Like 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 miles, and it tells you what you need to get done. And here's the cool thing. This is such a smart device, it knows what kind of car you're driving. Okay, so it knows what has to be done for your particular vehicle. For instance, I have a truck that has four wheel drive and it actually has specific things for the transfer case that has to be done on a four wheel drive vehicle. It knew that, I didn't tell it that, it actually knew that. And it's for any vehicle from 1996 to today. Isn't from 1996 on, to now. wow. Yeah. And what kind of uh, tablet or phone do we have to well, have? Well, it could be Apple, it could be Android, okay. it doesn't it matter. It could be your Either smartphone, one. it could yeah. be a tablet. And it wirelessly connects right. to the device. So all you do is pull out your phone when you get in the Sit. car and you can hit run scan. Right. That's amazing. It'll tell you instantly. You don't have to get out of the car. You don't have to like look under the hood. You don't have to think, mm, check engine light, check yeah. engine light. Do I need to rush look. to my corner garage? Do I need to go to my guy? Do I need yeah. to go to the dealership and have them plug in their computer? And then they can tell me what might or might not be wrong with my car. Wouldn't it be nice to feel so empowered to have all the knowledge when you roll in there? You can be like, hey, I think I got this problem. Right. Let me know uh, what you think it's gonna cost to fix because I wanna get this figured out right now. Yeah, I mean, and that's really, really simple to do. And it's very empowering. I'm not saying that like mechanics necessarily are trying to you know, do something nefarious or anything like that, but it's nice to be able to walk in there and you kind of give them a head start, a start on the diagnostics of the vehicle. Maybe it won't cost you as much. You know, that, that's <laughs> the way I look at it. I, I can go in there and give him as much information as possible before he starts it. I always feel better about that. Um, and it comes in a nice little case. And what's cool about this is that you can use it in every vehicle, okay? So if you own three cars, you can use this in all three vehicles. Now, if you want, you can buy three and leave one in each car, and you can leave them plugged in all the time. And you can always have a reading. So as soon as the check engine light comes on, it's going to alert you and say, hey, listen, here's the problem that we're having with your vehicle right now. I mean, it, re it really is a brilliant way. Now, I, you know, being kind of a car guy myself, I've had other what they call OBD2 readers before. And basically it's some things that kind of look like the micro mechanic and they'll work with a bunch of different apps that you can use on your phone and, and they're fine. But what they do is they give you a code and then you have to look it up someplace, okay? And you know, the problem with that for me is you saw the things that the, that the micro mechanic saw mm -hmm. on the reader a minute ago, okay? These two different things that it saw. You know, as much as I know, I couldn't tell you if I should be driving the vehicle or not with those. But the micro mechanic is smarter than I am and it tells me right up here in the corner in the yellow, it says, guess what, safe to drive. So now if I hit the, if I hit the reset button, let me see here, because I actually have a little something behind the table here that's mimicking um, what your car would be doing. So okay. watch this, I'm gonna hit the scan button again. So we're gonna scan it again and you can scan it as many times as you want um, and just to see, now this time, look what it came up with. This time it said nothing. It says safe to drive. So there's no problems with our vehicle, but here's all my next schedule maintenance. And it says 5,000, 10,000, 25, 50, 100. So if I go to the 5,000, boom, right there, it's telling me the things I need to do. Automatic transmission fluid, battery and cables, all the things that need to be checked. And that's nice to have, mm -hmm. I think. So that when you go to the dealership, you know, or the yeah. mechanic, you're like, please check these things. It, that's a phenomenal reminder great? because I never keep any of those receipts, you know, every time I go for an oil change. <laughs> right. I always mean to put it in a log that came with the car that's supposed to go in the glove compartment. Do I ever do that? No. no. Uh, but what I do have every time I go in the car is my cell phone. Is it easy to download the app and get so, started? So simple. Do I you mean, have to type in like what type of car you no, have? No, nothing, nothing. Nothing. It, it, when you plug it in, it talks to the computer in the car. So it's learning about the car when you plug it mm -hmm. in. The only thing you have to do is you put in your name and you put in an email address and that's it. And it starts to work and it's free. As I mentioned, it's, it's both on the uh, Google Play Store mm -hmm. and it's in um, Apple. 
Is that so thing hard to find where you plug it no, in in your no. car? Is the, this usually it's in one of three places. It's either going to be on the left hand side by the driver's wheel, under the driver's wheel, or on the right hand side. So if you just run your hand, if you sit in the driver's seat, okay, just like you can he's see doing, him yeah, him right there. and just run your hand, or okay. you know, just kneel down next to the car and kind of look up underneath there. They're, they look, they're, they're all standard. It's a standard size, just so that all mechanics okay. can use them, you know. And these readers will fit in them, and you plug it in. Now. You know, like I said, there are other things out there that kind of do the same thing, but they don't do it as well as the micro mechanic. And what I mean by that is the app that this comes with makes all the difference in the world because this is going to tell you whether it's safe to drive, whether, you know, you, you how much the service should cost you, or, you know, it might, sometimes it says it's safe to drive, sometimes it says, no, don't drive your car. I can't, you know, I had a code come up yesterday on this where it came up with five different things, and out of the five, two of them were don't drives. Okay, I. and those come up in red, so you know right away, don't drive the vehicle. You know, call a tow truck, have it taken to the garage, because you could do more damage if you drive it then. Could you do another little simulation for Absolutely, us? Absolutely, sure. Because we're just pretending that this is a car, obviously, and right. we're plugging in the micro mechanic, so you, depending on what car you drive, again, I want to- If I unplug this, I want to show you. Yeah. If I unplug that, that's what the port looks like, okay? So, so you see that? that's what we're looking for. That's what car. you're looking oh, for. Yeah. Okay. N nothing exciting, you know, but that's what it looks like. And so, then you plug this in. So then you take the micro mechanic and you just line it up. You plug it in just like that. Now, there's no batteries in it or anything because it's drawing power okay. from the car. And okay? you don't need any wire. Nothing. Bluetooth. Okay. I, I couldn't even figure out how to so, like, wire a satellite radio in my car once. If I come back here, I'm going to reset this. So w look what it's saying now. It says pairing. It already paired that quickly it paired with it. Okay, so it did it really, really fast. I'm gonna hit the start scan button. Let's see if this is okay. gonna be, if we're, if we're safe to drive or are we gonna have a problem this time? Because you never know, the car's been a little finicky lately. Let's see what it <laughs> says. It's scanning it for could, a while. I mean, there are, a, how many different things could come up? Oh, there, there are codes hundreds are there? of codes, how hundreds many of codes. different possible scenarios. So many, and being. some of them are like really innocuous and other ones are very, very bad. Um, and this knows the difference between the two. I couldn't tell you on some of them, mm -hmm. but I think by unplugging it, I just like caused a little problem with it. <laughs> of course I did. Here, let me go back here. Okay, and in the meantime, let me just remind everybody, mm -hmm. you're getting everything that you need. Right. You can use this on more than one vehicle. If you want to plug it into different cars, you could just keep it in your garage whenever that check engine light went on you are in control. You have all the information you need to find out whether or not your car is safe to drive, what exactly has been diagnosed. You don't have to look up the code, it's gonna tell you, and then it's even gonna give you an estimate. Gosh, to get that repaired, hmm. Okay, not so bad, maybe 50 to to $100, no big deal. Or if it's a major problem, you'll know right away. I love that you have all the information at your fingertips. I love that you don't actually have to know anything about cars. I also love that you're not intimidated when you walk into, whether it's your local garage or your you know, little fix-it shop or an auto parts store or even the dealer. Because the first thing you do when you walk in is that you're asking them to be the expert, right? And you don't know what they're gonna find. You're not gonna have any idea how much that you know, sort of fix it is gonna usually run you. So this will give you all the information you need. All you need is a car that has been since, Built, 1996. since 1996, yeah. and all you need is your smartphone. Almost every smartphone out there is either Apple or Android, right. or you can use your tablet like a iPad or any other brand of Android tablet, and you will have wirelessly, instantly, via Bluetooth, everything that you need to know about your car. Right. Uh, what I wouldn't have given to have this when I had a car with one of those finicky engine lights, oh, yeah. I would drive around at midnight at four in the morning, fingers crossed. I hope it's no big deal. I hope my engine's not gonna die. I hope I'm not gonna see smoke coming out from under the hood in the middle of this highway in the middle of the night. Uh, that's no way to travel. Well, and see, here's the thing. Sometimes you're about to go on a trip or you wanna you know, go to work or whatever, and the check engine light comes on, and now you sit there and you're like, oh. can I go to work? Are we still taking this trip? You know what I mean? The micro mechanic will tell you, yes, you can still yeah. go on your trip. Yes, you can still go to work today. I mean, it, it mm -hmm. will tell tell you that it's okay to do these things. Do you know, here's a true story. What's that? I had my check engine light on uh, during a hot, steamy summer, I believe, in mm -hmm. Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent money driving it to the garage, had them run their little computer through it, right. and they told me it was my gas cap. 
Oh, and, and, and no, so here's the, here's the <laughs> funny thing. Because it wasn't on tight enough. For some reason, it was like some yeah. sensor, right? Yeah, there's a sensor that, that knows when there's me. low pressure in the gas tank. So here's the funny thing. If that ever happens I with the micro mechanic, saved money. it will tell you, tighten your gas cap. It actually tells you that because so, I've seen that one come up. That could be the most minor thing, but what could be the most serious thing it's telling you? Oh my God. Well, it could, it could tell you that the engine's ready to kind of just, just go. Really? You know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you, it, there are some things like the, there's a crankshaft sensor. Okay. If that's out of alignment, it's going to let you know that. And I've seen that one come up as well. And it tells you absolutely do not drive the car because that could cause dangerous. even more damage. Absolutely. Right. And you never want to have anything happen to you that compromises your driving or the right. safety of anyone on the road, including you and your family. Sure. I mean, you and your family's safety is worth $20. I can't imagine that if this technology is available, why you wouldn't have at least one in every household. If you have someone young who's driving yep. off at college or maybe they're just starting uh, to move to a new city, plug this in. All so you simple. do is open the free app. So there's, there's no monthly charges, right? Right? There's no, no like subscription free, fees. Free, free, free. Yeah. Free app. You'll have instant knowledge. Yeah. And uh, that gives you power. So uh, we're, we're bringing power back to the I people. I love it. I love it too. Thank yeah. you for bringing You're us the brand welcome. new micro mechanic. My pleasure. Love that. And uh, don't forget about Lou, the bug zapper. This is the monster zapper in case uh, you just missed it. This is an indoor bug zapper. This is so cool because this really attracts with that wonderful LED light, all those flying insects. Maybe it's wasps, maybe it's fruit flies, maybe it's mosquitoes. The ones that are buzzing around your head when you're trying to fall asleep at night. Uh, maybe it's the flies, maybe it's the wasps or the bees that will instantly zap them. And all you have to do is empty the little tray and say goodbye to those little uh, pesky critters. Okay, so that is also brand new today as part of our As Seen on TV. We have one more, and I have to say we have saved one of the best for last. Check this out. How good are your cell phone photos and videos? Well, not that great, especially when you're trying to zoom in. You have the kid that's in the school play. Maybe you have your kid on the soccer field. Maybe you're trying to take a picture of birds, wildlife. You want to capture landscapes. You want to catch your detail. You want to get really close. How about a crystal clear close-up? So you can maybe post a picture of that product that you're putting on one of those auction websites. Maybe you just want really great photos for social media. Now you can turn any cell phone camera into a real camera and it's almost like having a pair of binoculars with you all at the same time. This sold out the instantly, uh, the, the instant that we debuted it here at HSN, and now it's back. We'll tell you all about it. Uh, Lori Leland, come on in and give us a, a quick Hi. demo so everyone can see what this tax Zoom from Bell and yes. Howell is all about because uh, we've all tried zooming in on our cell phone cameras and the results are not pretty. Not so good and we love to take pictures with our cameras, with our phones because they're always with us. We're not carrying that separate camera. So can you see this beautiful vase? There's a picture over there on the mantle. Here's what it looks like when you take that zoom lens off. You can't even tell that there are vases over there or that there is a picture. That's the beauty of this zoom lens. So it's that telephoto lens and here's what we love about it. This is coming to us from Bell & Howell. This is a company for over 110 10 years they've been innovating lens technologies. They actually created the very first in-home camcorder so we could capture our favorite family videos. Well, this is gonna be perfect for your photos and your videos. You don't need an extra app for this. There's nothing to power here. All you're doing is you are taking the included lenses and you receive three lenses here. So you're getting that telephoto lens. This is fully adjustable. So you're gonna be able to focus it and it's gonna get you 10 times closer to all of your subjects for photos and for video. You're getting that large clip that you clip it into and then you're also getting a small clip with a small lens. This is for your macro, your up close. We'll show you that in just a moment. And you're even getting a fisheye lens that you can screw right in. So if I told you the contents of this little convenient, handy to carry, little lightweight pouch could be all you need to transform your cell phone into your favorite camera, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? This is, <laughs> really is such cool. a cool idea because how many of you have been uh, at the perfect time, capturing the perfect moment, mm -hmm. and as soon as you zoom in, you lose all the clarity. 
of your photo or your video. It gets uh, a little pixelated. Sure, it gets grainy, a little fuzzy. And you're falls like, apart. I saw the most amazing osprey the other day. It was sitting right on this tree, right down the block from my apartment. And as soon as I zoomed in, I realized this is not going to be a good picture. And no one's going to even believe me that I saw this really cool osprey in the tree. So whether it's wildlife, whether you're sightseeing, maybe you're, you know, exploring the temples or the pyramids, or you're taking that sure. wonderful trip of a lifetime to Europe, most of us are not going to carry a big camera bag everywhere we go with all those different lenses and a cell phone. Right. Most of us want our pictures on our cell phones. We can instantly share them to social media. This is such a fun way to get really great photos on your cell phone that you can share or download or email sure. instantly. Instantly, so you can share instantly, post to social media, look at how up close we are to that beautiful little wooden piece of art and those two little white bottles. So let me just show you, without your Bell & Howell zoom lens, your tack zoom, you can't even tell there's artwork there. And if we were relying on that grainy digital zoom that's built right in, it's usually only about four times and it falls apart once we zoom in. Mm -hmm. And if I hear one more time, one of my friends on social media apologizing for a picture as they're posting it, because the quality is terrible, I'm gonna lose my mind, right? Like we don't wanna apologize for our pictures, we want to be able to really celebrate them. And if you are taking that once in a lifetime trip, you don't wanna trust your cell phone camera without a great zoom lens to those pictures because you will be disappointed. Now, Sarah, I think it's very apt that you were talking about bird watching because we had our friend Mike Sircosta go out and take some gorgeous Aww. pictures for us the other day. I'm kind of a bird nerd, I have I to love admit birds it. too, and They're I love amazing. nature, right? And you can put things up on social media, share with other people some of the beautiful wild, wildlife you saw on your walk, but not if you don't have the right tool for the job. So there's a darling little bird right here in the, in the nest. If you posted that on social media, if you posted that on Instagram or Facebook, your friends would be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't see a bird there. Here's your Bell and Howell tax sale. Look at that baby bird right there oh. with its little open beak ready to eat a meal. It's Look at that. It's super clear. Great detail with that. Let's talk about the colors that you get as well. So beautiful colorations. The, these are big, giant yellow flowers up in the tree and there's a cluster right here. But you can't see the detail. What if you wanna get closer? Look what you can do with that tack zoom. You can see so much vivid detail. You can see those bright, beautiful colors. Let me show you one more because this is truly amazing technology. So here's a beautiful wide angle shot, right? Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of great detail here in the skyline, in the tree, in the grass but I bet you can't see that boat that's over here in the distance. So maybe you want to take a picture of a cruise ship or maybe you want to take pictures of boats out on the water. You're going to be able to do that. Can't even see that boat. Can you no, see it? I have it's no just, idea there's a boat on the water. It's like a little tiny line on the horizon. Here it is. Look at the detail. You That's your did tack that zero. with your cell Isn't phone. Isn't that crazy? So Mike Sarkozda, our good friend, took these pictures, and our legal department literally asked him to prove it by showing his <laughs> camera roll because they couldn't believe the quality. So he had to check and double check just to show that we were on the up and up with this because of everything it's capable of. Lori, let me just tell everyone, you're getting everything that you need. You're getting a tripod. You're getting all the different lenses. We'll take you through all of those items. But this is on track for another sellout today. It's it sold out instantly the moment it debuted here at HSN. It took us six months to get back into stock. Uh, so enjoy. You're getting all of this for less than $20. Uh, what I wouldn't give uh, to have this uh, several years ago when we first started taking pictures with our cell phones. Right? Do you notice I was just looking up an old cell helpful. phone photo from like three or four years ago. It's so grainy. Right. Because our cell phones, I mean, they keep improving, but they're nothing like what you can do with a professional camera. It's so true. So the difference between our cell phones now and this is a 10 time optical 10 zoom. 10 time optical zoom. Or if you'd like to get closer to your subjects than ever before, I just took a photograph of this little butterfly that we brought in. Okay. We got really, really close with our macro lens. So I just want to show you very quickly how the lenses work. And then I'm going to show you how to put that lens right onto your phone or your tablet to shoot pictures or videos. So all you're doing is you're screwing it in. So it screws right into this little clip and you get a small clip for your smaller lenses and you get a large clip for your telephoto lens. That's it. Then all you're doing is you're taking your device, it's a phone, tablet, Apple, Android, doesn't matter. Then you're gonna grab that device and you're just gonna put this right over the lens of that device. And then you're gonna be able to get so nice and close to your subject. Here's the butterfly picture I shot just a second ago and I'll shoot another one here in just a second just to show you live. But look at the detail we're able to see on wow. that butterfly's wing. Look at the textural detail. This is not a large butterfly 
but look at how you can get so incredibly nice and close to every single subject that you're taking pictures of. Isn't that amazing? So if you're selling, yeah. like you said, on social media, if you're selling on the auction websites, this is gonna give you that close up look that you're really anxious to get. Because it is really hard to get a good picture. Really I mean, unless hard. you have a professional take photos in their studio with their fancy cameras, or even if you have all those fancy cameras. You have to cameras, hire someone, right? You have to, to decide, do, do I bring all my fancy cameras? Or do I just take my cell phone? Like if you're going on a safari, you probably don't want to carry all those different telephoto lens. But if you could take your cell phone and that 10 time optical zoom with you, you would have everything you need to get really great photos that you can instantly share. Because even if you have a really great camera, mm -hmm. what happens when you take all your pictures from your vacation on your really great camera? They stay on your really great camera or <laughs> they stay true. in that little SD card and you never get around to uploading them, downloading them, putting them on your computer and then sharing them on social media or printing photos. Now you can have your pictures where you really want them, which is on your phone. Exactly. Love this that. is the place that you're going to share. You're going to share from your camera roll. And again, you're just using the built-in camera like you do every single day with your cell phone. You don't have to download a specialized app if you don't want to. It's just going to automatically transform that image that you're seeing into that 10x optical zoom. And it's totally adjustable. So all you do is you turn that lens right here and the adjustment will focus it instantaneously for you. So here's all the way across the studio. For this one, I'm using the little tripod. I'm going to give you a little bit more detail on that tripod in just a second. So I'm going to take this right off and you can't even, you can barely even see that little plant all the way across the studio. That's the level of zoom that we're talking about here. You just can't get close wow. enough to your subject okay. unless you have some tools to do it. We're going right? to do a live experiment. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Lori doesn't know I'm going to do this, so I'm going to stand uh, as far away as possible. I'm actually going to stand behind the plant. Okay. And I want you to show everybody what you see without the lens okay. and then with the lens. Okay, so without the lens, this is like a, a Where's Waldo kind of situation. Right. I can't, <laughs> you, doesn't she look like part of the set, guys? All the way over there, she looks just like the plant, right? So now I'm just gonna take my zoom lens from Bell and Howell, I'm gonna line it up right there on my cell phone, and now there she is. Look at her beautiful face! Look at that cute top she's wearing. Look how I can take these beautiful pictures. Oh, I should have taken a picture the other way. But look at this amazing photography right at your fingertips now yeah. with that zoom lens. And we're providing the tripod because it's gonna be, make it even easier for you to be able to hold it nice and still and steady. But again, there it is without. Sarah, that's that, amazing. That, that's so cool because think really about cool. it. You are probably 30, 40 feet away. Uh, but that's about how far you are away from your kids playing sports. Exactly. If you have kids in teams and they just got back to school, if you have kids that are going to be in the school choir, the school play, uh, maybe they're, you know, doing a recital uh, and you're in the 12th row, you are going to get that really great photo. If you love to be outdoors, if you love wildlife. I took a video yesterday and I was so proud of this video and I came home and I showed my husband and I'm like, look what I saw on my bike ride today. He was like, what? what? And I'm like, there's a little <laughs> raccoon running along the side of the woods. And he was like, I can barely even see that. And I was like, ah, oh, if I would have had this on my phone, I would have had a really great photo. And those are the moments you can't plan for, right? I would have never had my camera bag or all my lenses with me but I always have my cell phone. So whether you're in the car or on the go, sightseeing, traveling, maybe just everyday photos, uh, this is such a great solution. Will you walk us through everything that we sure. get one more time? So this is that great little tripod that you're going to receive. So this is totally adjustable. You can pull the legs out to make it a little bit longer and taller. You can f hold your phone to the side all the way up. Totally adjust it. Very easy for you to use. Hold your phone securely. So you're gonna love being able to use that. That comes for you in this great little pouch. You're you're gonna receive that nice long telephoto zoom lens that is totally adjustable so all you do to focus is spin the, the little ring right here you're getting that larger clip for it you're also going to receive your smaller clip and then this clip is the one that you're gonna use with your telephoto lens and your fisheye lens and I'm gonna show you some more images okay cool because really in this day and age we want to be sharing we want to be able to do it instantly you don't want to have to like you said lug around a bunch of extra equipment we don't have to bring a big camera or switching out lenses I've never been that fast at it so by the time you go to do that the memory is gone when you have this you just pop that lens right on and you can take that picture and that memory in seconds so I just want to show you here's another one that we saw out on our travels out on our little walk the other day so regular crane right but over here is a flag 
And if you, again, if you want to post something to social media, if it's a moment in time, a beautiful sunset, whatever it is, and you just want it to be more crisp, more clear, closer up than you could imagine, this is going to be your solution. So that's what that flag looks like. A lot of people are like, what flag? Look at that. We zoomed all the way in and went from this, where you can't even tell that there's a flag in the shot, all the way to this. And talk about having so much fun wow. with these lenses. That's I know, a amazing, great right? photo. You also get fisheye. So if you wanna take those really fun pictures of maybe the hood of a car or your pet's noses at home oh. and it makes it look so round and cool, this is a really, really fun lens to be able to use as well. And you're receiving all of the lenses that you need to be able to do this. And the great thing is, it's so super portable. So all you're doing is popping it into mm -hmm. your handbag, guys bringing it with you, you know, if you have a briefcase or a backpack, it's this little pouch full of things that you need that's for your phone and that's it. Easy. easy, right? So and easy. You don't need to be a photographer no. to figure out how to use these. You don't have to open up an app. No. Does it work on any phone? Any phone. So and Apple and it, Android. Okay. The lens does need to be within an inch of an, an, an inch and a quarter of the edge of the phone. That's it though. Because all you're doing is you're putting that lens right over. So I'll show you right here on okay. the set. So that's what we're looking at. If I were to take a picture of our set. Yeah, you can't tell any detail on that at all, right? So I'm just gonna put my zoom lens right on there. So my telephoto lens just clamps right on. You just make a quick little adjustment with it and you're gonna be able to see details all the way across the studio or all the way across your home. Or like you said, maybe you have the nosebleed seats and it's graduation or maybe your kids are gonna be performing in the school play. I know my son's gonna be doing a little pageant for Christmas. I can't wait to see, but I was at the very back of the auditorium last time and I couldn't get any good pictures of him. This is going to change my life yeah. this holiday season. You could even take it, even if you don't need to take a picture, but just to be able to see. Right. You know, maybe you're, you know, watching sure. something at the theater. You can or use you're it watching, as binoculars. You know, I oh. mean, have you ever been to like a, a live performance? It's your favorite band. It's your favorite singer. It's your favorite show. It's your favorite music. Sure. And you can't see anything from where you're seated. Look at the difference there. Okay, I totally forgot we had this set up in the oh, studio. This okay. is so funny. So, so this show is us what the we're, live zoom. All right. I'm going to go so over it's here. right here. So let's point to that photograph. Sarah, if you can. So there it is. There's the picture. So you can kind of see us on that wide angle, like all the way across the studio. But look at Yay. how close and how much detail you're going to get with that 10x optical zoom. Isn't that the coolest thing? Just to be able to have that in your pocket, super portably, no extra steps. You don't really mm -hmm. have to. You don't have to charge it. You don't have to do anything with these lenses. All you do is just pop them on, and you are ready to see what's out there in front of you with that 10x magnification or that 10x 10x zoom. So what does so cool. what is the zoom on our cell phones right now. Okay, well, we don't have an optical zoom and I'll tell you why. An optical zoom means there's some length to that lens and keep in mind, okay. you're getting Bell and Howell quality here. This is the company that innovated that first home camcorder in the first place so we could begin taking our family memories at home. And that happened in the early 1930s. Mm -hmm. So an amazing company innovating for over 100 years. So you're getting that long lens. On your cell phone now, you have basically a digital zoom, and if you're real lucky, it's two to four times. This is 10 times, but it's optical because you actually have some length to that zoom. The reason we don't have that built into our cell phone is because when a phone is this thin, you don't have room <laughs> for a lens. That's why you need to add your own. Right. Uh, Can't build it in. This is gonna be so great. I, I don't know about you, but I take so many pictures on my cell phone, and most Me of them, too are not that great. <laughs> I maybe have one out of every 25 photos that actually turns out because I'm usually so far away from my subject or I'm way too close and everything is blurry. So what if your cell phone was as good as a professional camera? Wouldn't you wanna take more photos? Wouldn't you wanna share more, pho more photos? Wouldn't you be thrilled to have those close-ups, whether it's your children, whether it's wildlife, whether it's just a fun experience, your sightseeing, you're looking at museums or palaces or castles or pyramids or ancient ruins you know most of us just want to pull out our phone and grab that sure. picture and it also works not just for, for still photography for but video. also if you're doing a video you're going to be up close for that video and it's not going to be distorted you're not losing quality 
you're getting a 10 time optical zoom that you can now put on your cell phone. And you're getting all of it for $19.95. It's one of our most popular items that we've debuted recently here at HSN. And I will give you an update on quantities because I know uh, this is getting very limited. Uh, we're about 80% uh -huh. sold out oh, wow. uh, since uh, we were able to bring this back. So another perfect opportunity. Also a great gift idea. Really good gift. For someone who is loving social media, they, if you have to post for work, if you have to post for your office, if you right. have to post for your personal business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you sell things on an auction website, you need good photos. Uh, if you're in real estate, sure. wouldn't this be great? Oh my gosh, so great for any of that. Anyone who's posting, anyone who wants to capture memories more accurately, great. Mm -hmm. Like you said, for students all ages. This is everybody, men, women, everybody. So take a look. Here's a picture that we took of the tree. But again, back to Sarah's bird watching. Maybe there's wildlife you want to be able to capture. Maybe there was the cutest bird and he was making this adorable sound and you want to shoot a video to post on social media, you'll be able to get closer. Mm -hmm. Trust me when I tell you, if you post this, your friends are going to think you're crazy. Crazy. What bird? <laughs> Sorry, don't see it. There it is. You know what this is great for? Uh -huh. The wildlife you don't want to be close to. <laughs> right? Like the alligators you, right. in you don't Florida. Have to walk up to them. I don't want to walk That's any closer. Point. And we've heard those horror stories about people trying to take selfies with like bears in oh Yellowstone National Park. That's so true. You take the picture. You stay far away right. from that bear, okay? Don't come any closer and let this do the work. That's exactly it. It's <laughs> super easy to use. So all you're doing is you're grabbing that lens and you're uh, literally scrolling it right onto the clip then you're ready to go we're even including for you that little cleaning cloth so if you're just throwing everything into the bag and you get the lens caps too to keep everything fresh so we're including Perfect. all of that when it's time to go whether you want to shoot pictures with your phone whether you want to use your tablet again apple android doesn't matter works like, this works across all. every system okay all you do is we're running out of time lord leland you're, ready to go. you're awesome thank you so much carrie smith's gonna take you shopping next more labor day weekend sales we'll see you tomorrow enjoy everybody thanks lori Thank you, girlfriends. Hi, everybody. It's so wonderful having you shopping with us this afternoon and all weekend, really, because we've got four flexible payments 